evening. Very nice to meet you. So, Lynn, um, so Ginny put us in contact with each other. Yeah. So I'm really excited I got to be here today with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, I just wanted to start off by telling you a little bit about EMC. Uh, so we're a global leader in uh, data storage and information technology. We've worked with a multitude of different companies, from startups to Fortune and Global 500 companies to, you know, small uh, technology companies. Uh, so a whole broad scale of different companies and all of that. Um, and we help to bring companies up to their next level, efficiency in an affordable way, help you to manage costs, all things like that. So I think we have a lot that we could possibly discuss, um, especially with um, Jimmy putting us in contact. You know, she gave us some pointers about what you guys might need. Um, but just to start off, I wanted to know um, uh, what your position was with um, yeah, the credit union. Yeah, so I'm one of the, um, the IT admins. Okay. So, um, I work with it's myself and two other admins um, and our manager Alex. So um, there's there's really three of us that are hands on in IT. Alex is more of a management figure. So yeah, so I'm one of the IT admins. I'm hands on with the technology, um, maintaining the system, doing a lot of the IT management. Wow, so just it's just the three of you. That's a uh, that's pretty big role for yeah. you with just three people. That's a lot. Yeah. So what are um, some challenges that come with having like you know? such a short staff or just, you know, day-to-day -day challenges that you might have? Yeah, um, I think that we're, you know, right now we're in a position where we're, we're dealing with a lot of growth, which is a good thing. We just opened another branch. Yes, um, uh, Jenny was mentioning that. Yeah, so it's very exciting. It's that really exciting, exciting to have for the business, but it's also stressful for us because um, we're dealt with, to deal with all the growth and it puts a strain on IT. So especially now more than ever, it's a ton of time that we're spending. Um, dedicating toward management of the systems and maintaining them. Um, work a lot of overtime hours and mm -hmm. weekends. It's you know, I love this place, but not that much. <laughs> right. So um, th those are the biggest probably challenges that we're seeing right now, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to move forward in the future. Sure, absolutely. So when you say um, you're putting in all these overtime hours, now what? If you could pinpoint specific uh, aspects that are making you put in those overtime hours, what would it be? Um, I would say that a lot of it is around maintenance. So whether it's scheduled or unscheduled maintenance, um, you know, anytime we need to do maintenance on hardware or software, we need to bring down the systems. Okay. Um, and we don't want to affect our customers, so we want right. to do it at a time where it's off hours. Right. Um, and then unscheduled can be, you know, hard drives fail, hardware fails, and we mm -hmm. might, that might happen in the middle of the night. So right, oh, um, yeah. waking up and coming in, it's pretty big concerns. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's probably where a lot of the time goes. So with um, the new location in mind and these concerns that you already have as of right now, are you concerned about having the new um, location? Like, what are your plans for the new location? What with you already having, you know, these overtime hours and things like that? Um, it's a good question. Um, so I mean, we're we're planning to make do the best we can right now. Okay. Um, but that's a really thing that's big on my plate. That um, and you know, Alex's focus is you don't have a plan moving forward right now. Mm -hmm. You don't have an established roadmap. Okay. So that's something that we really need to figure out. Um, right. So right now, it, it's still kind of a, it's a good question. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that um, through EMC that we would really be able to help you with that roadmap. Um, one way that I like to kind of explain our company is um, think back to, you know, like 10 years ago when you had, you know, your hundreds of CDs that you had where uh, they were all in like one bookcase, you know, you remember those days oh, where, sure. um, you know, you drive to the bookstore because the new album was out, you know, when, you know, Black Eyed Peas and all of that, you had to add that to the collection, you put it up all in there and, you know, it's great, you're listening to your music, they're all there, but then think about when the iPod came out. Right. So, what you're dealing with right now um, with your current system, think of that as your bookshelf of all your CDs. And think of us as your iPod. Um, so, with your iPod now, you know, you can make playlists, you can get it, it's like media gratification, it's less maintenance, you know. You don't have to open the case, put it in the thing, you know, it's just all right there in front of you. So, that's one way that I really like to kind of explain our company is it's simpler, it's all right there. It's going to be less hours and things like that. So I think that that's somewhere where we could really help you. Okay. Um, potentially, we would be able to put together like a proposal for you, uh, you know, stating exactly how our product would be able to help you. Um, again, it's the, the, VN, uh, the VNXE, uh, and we would put together its benefits, how it's going to be able to impact your business. We'll be able to show you uh, ways that it'll help you to grow efficiently uh, and all things like that, if that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Um, you know, we know EMC, and and uh, you know, we're just a small company, and 
we have a lot of familiarity with DMC being a large, large enterprise company with big customers. And my concern about this kind of solution is that it might not be for a small company and it might be really complex. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a real concern of ours. You know, it sounds great, but uh, I just don't know about what it's actually going to look like. Well, um, it is it is true that we do work with big companies, but we also work with, um, you know, we're in the small, medium business division. Uh, we do work with several other credit unions, schools, um, small businesses, et cetera, things like that. So um, yes, we do have a lot of experience with big companies, but we have a lot of experience with small companies as well. And that's one of the ways we put um, just under $17 billion in um, research and development. So we are able to adapt to different uh, companies. We are able to you know, look at the situation of a small company, be able to work with you. And I feel like that's somewhere where we could really help you guys with um, the Federal Credit Union. Okay. Um, what, another question that I had for you was, uh, how are decisions made? throughout the company? Um, you know, I don't have any decision-making power, unfortunately. Um, you know, I got used to stuff, so I used to know how it works. But other than that, um, Alex, my boss, is really um, the person who would be, you know, an next line of contact, and he really deals with the owners. Nothing mm -hmm. happens without their say. Mm -hmm. They're very involved. Um, okay. So the, I would say that, that they are really the, the next level of contact. Well, what I would really um, like to do is uh, keep you involved because, you know, you play a vital role in, you know, the IT department, you know, especially with just such a small staff. So I would really ideally like to have you, Alex, and the owners all in one meeting so we can all be on the same page where I can uh, put together a proposal for you guys with how our VNXE will be able to help you, benefit you, um, help all of you guys be on the same page again see how this system compares with your last system, how we'll be able to, you know, that bookshelf to iPod kind of scenario. Um, same thing, you know, your credit union, what you're using for servers right now to what we have to offer for you as well. Um, do you think that that's something that could potentially happen? Yeah, yeah, potentially. I could talk to Alex and, um, and see if he'd be available to, um, to take a next meeting. Sure. Awesome. I mean, if um, it would be great if I could get Alex's contact information. I can just go right ahead and um, set up the meeting with him and uh, get all of us all together and maybe you guys could pass it on to the owners, let them know, um, and then if they have any questions prior to the meeting, I could uh, send them over some information and anything else they might need to know. Sure, yeah, I'll give you his information and I'll also check with him as well. Absolutely, that'd be great. And I was hoping for maybe sometime early next week uh, that the, you know, the five of us could all sit down. Yeah, let's uh, maybe plan for like Wednesday to make sure that everyone's free. Absolutely, yes, not a problem. Well, I look forward to, um, again, sitting down with all of you guys. I really think that we can help you get that roadmap. I definitely see where you're, you know, where you're having the issues with like the overtime hours. We gotta get you out of the office. <laughs> you know, we're all set with those overtime hours. <laughs> so um, we really wanna help you there. And we, I can definitely see where we can help you and I can't wait for all of us to really collaborate. Great. Um, do you have any questions for me though? No, I think for now, all set. Um, very informative, so thank you. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.